Exploring the Design and Construction of Wind Turbines Have you ever wondered what the science is behind wind turbines? How are they utilized to make use of the high-speed wind? In this video, we will find out how wind turbines are constructed. Wind turbines are more than just giant towers. These are the perfect opportunities for a 100% clean energy future. In 2021, U.S. wind power will reach 136 gigawatts of generating capacity, providing 9% of all U.S. electricity generation. This is enough to power 39 million homes. Wind turbine power generation is based on the conversion of the wind's kinetic energy into mechanical mechanical energy and electrical energy. This is done using specially designed rotor blades, hubs, and generators. A wind turbine consists of three main parts, a tower, a nacelle, and rotor blades. The first step is the selection of a site. Before any decision to construct these wind turbines, the manufacturer must determine and find a suitable area for the wind farm installation. This means the wind must be reliable. The speed of the current must exceed 15.5 miles per hour, or 25 kilometers per hour, daily. It is assumed it is windier during a specific time of the year. Once the area is determined, it's time to construct the tower. Once the developer has selected a location for the onshore turbine tower, we will prepare the ground and build a concrete foundation that can use up to 600 to 1,000 tons of concrete and 165 tons of steel. Hub height is determined. Wind turbine hub height is the distance from the ground to the center of the turbine rotor. The hub height of utility-scale onshore wind turbines increased 66% from 1998 to 1999 and will reach approximately 94 meters, or 308 feet, by 2021. It's as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Material required for production. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory report, Table 30, wind turbines vary by make and model, but are primarily steel, 66 to 79% of the total turbine mass. Many turbine components are sourced domestically and manufactured in the USA. According to the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy's land-based wind market report, wind turbine towers are 60 to 75% domestic, blade and hub components are 30 to 50% domestic, and nacelle assemblies are over 85% domestic AM. However, many internal parts such as pitch and yaw systems, bearings, screws, and controls are usually imported. Production of Parts Tower steel components can be manufactured in off-site factories, but are typically installed on-site. The parts are all bolted together and the tower is held in a horizontal position before erection. The building is lifted with the help of a crane, the bolts are tightened with precision, and it is time to check the stability after completion. Support Tower or Mast the central support tower is made of steel and finished with multiple layers of protective paint to protect it from the elements. The building should be high enough so that the blades do not interfere with normal day-to-day -day operations on the ground due to flickering turbine shadows, etc. Rotor Diameter the diameter of the turbine rotor, the width of the circle swept by rotating blades, has also increased over the years. In 2021, the average rotor diameter was 127.5 meters, 418 feet, which is longer than a football field. Turbines with long blades can catch more wind than short blades, even in areas with relatively low currents. If we can collect more wind at lower wind speeds, we can increase the number of lands available for wind development nationwide. This trend increased the area swept by the rotor by about 600% from 1998 to 1999. Transportation and Installation Challenges 
If bigger is better, why aren't more giant turbines used today? Sizable onshore wind turbine blades are tricky to transport and install because they cannot be folded or bent after construction. This limits the routes and turns radii that trucks can traverse. Transportation is also tricky as turbine tower diameters may not fit under bridges or highway overpasses. Before we go ahead with our video, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and press the bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video to our channel. Blades Installation Once the blades are on site, a vast crane controlled by a computerized operator carefully guides the three blades into the nacelle. Did you know a fun fact? Some wind turbine blades take two days and 100 workers to build. Quality control is mandatory. Throughout the process and after, quality control is kept a must. Wind turbines must undergo regular maintenance and checkups to reduce failure and other risk factors. An inspection usually takes place every three months and every six months for a proper maintenance check. The moving components are lubricated and the oil levels in the gearbox are checked. The electrical system is also limited. The purpose is to ensure that manufacturers and contractors comply with the contract, permit, legal, and regulatory requirements. In addition, excellent quality control guarantees optimal project profitability as the wind turbine produces maximum power generation. Electronics and other components. Wind turbine electronics include the grid feeding system and numerous sensors. Sensors measuring wind direction, temperature, and speed are placed around the nacelle to monitor and control the turbines. Wind turbines include components for heating, cooling, wind following, hoists, and firefighting equipment. So what's the future of wind turbines? The future of wind energy and turbines will only get better. Research is currently underway to improve our knowledge of wind resources. Additional areas will have wind farms tested based on the strength and reliability of the wind in that area. New materials are then tested to increase rotor blade efficiency, improve control, develop durable drivetrains, and enable better grounding and surge protection. Now that we have reached the end of this video, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. Do check out the other videos on BuildTech and click the bell icon so you never miss any video from our channel.